back to Burning Rubber Garage. I've got a different type of video that I haven't made before. Uh, I've been tempted to, but I usually just pull away. This one I'm going to make because I'm very excited. I've got a new product that's not even out yet. Uh, they're not paying me to do this. Uh, I've got my own reasons for doing this. Uh, a lot of you who know me know I love fat tire motorcycles. Uh, the Coleman is one of those. Yes, it's probably more of a tote coat. But growing up, I always liked the, uh, the Yamaha Big Wheels. They had an 80, a 200, a 350. Those of you who are probably old enough know about those. Uh, they were a dirt bike that had a four-wheeler tire. Uh, you had the Honda Fat Cat, I believe it was. Uh, they had one engine size for that. I never rode one of those, so I don't know a whole lot about it, but the Yamahas were freaking sick. And if you have your hands on one right now, they fetch a large premium. Uh, and they were made, I think, late 80s, 90s, somewhere in that time frame. Uh, they're freaking awesome. You would love it if you have one. I'm very jealous. I keep looking for one, and they are hard to come by. But I was browsing Instagram. I think I just made a post or something, and I was just kind of looking through. And I saw this, this thing as I'm scrolling. I'm like, whoa, 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 back up. And it was a Vulcan, V-O-L-C-O-N, Grunt, G-R-U-N-T. And I'm like, dang, another big wheel bike that's brand new? I got excited. So I did a lot of research on it. I even reached out to the company. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, there's a couple things about it. I'll give you the pros and the cons. Uh, it is an electric motorcycle with the big old four-wheeler style tires. It looks amazing. Uh, it does have a headlight, tail light. I do not believe it will be street legal. Well, at least the first version will not be street legal here in the U.S. Other countries may be. But it's electric, and when you hear electric, people go, ooh, I don't want to get stuck way off road because I don't have enough power to get me back. Uh, range anxiety is huge with electric anything. So this thing says it can go up to 100, and I'm not sure how light you'd have to drive it to make it 100, but it can go up to 100. It has three drive modes. I'm sure there's like a power save mode. Maybe a low-end, torquey, rock crawl type of mode, and then there's probably a kind of balls of the wall type of mode. Uh, because this thing makes 75 foot-pounds of torque. That's, that's just insane. It's, it's freaking awesome. That's a lot of power. Electric motors are torquey little suckers, and that's awesome. Uh, and it can go 60 miles an hour. Uh, zero to 60 in six seconds. And I believe it was 50 horsepower, up to 50, because I'm sure the drive modes will dictate how much horsepower you have. Uh, but this thing caught my eye, and I was looking at it, I did some digging, and, and I see the price. The price is the one thing that made me kind of go like, I, I'm going to have to be really impressed. Uh, it's just shy of $6,000. Uh, you can buy another battery, uh, which would then extend your range farther. But... I, I, I don't know. The battery is probably pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. So I would love to get my hands on one of these. So hopefully if this video does well, they can see that. Maybe they'll let me play with one for a while, and then maybe I'll have to buy one. Uh, but with that, the thing is, oh, man, it just looks so cool. Uh, it's under 200 pounds, 32-inch seat height, and a foot of ground clearance. And uh, that's pretty impressive. You're going to get over almost everything, especially with that big wide tire. Uh, I enjoy bikes with big wide tires. I know I already told you that, but when I saw this, I had to scroll back up and see it. I've done a lot of digging. I reached out to the company, and oddly enough, they actually got back to me. Uh, it's a startup company based out of Texas. Uh, Texas seems to be the EV capital. There's a lot of uh, electric stuff built down there, which is awesome. I'm not sure why, but it's just that's where they build it. So it's not too far away, but this bike, I can just imagine the torque once you twist that throttle, if there's like a high performance haul butt mode. I bet it just rips, because torque just gets you going, and that's just going to be like, uh, they have one where a picture of it where it has a rack on the back, the one, the main one doesn't, so I imagine there's a lot of accessories you can get. Uh, this bike is just something that caught my eye. Uh, like I said, I normally don't try and talk about products, but uh, maybe if it does well, I'll start talking about other things that catch my eye, but this one I just was like, there's probably a lot of people who haven't heard about this uh, that are like me and may be interested. Uh, the price again is a lot, but if it's a good quality solid bike, I mean it's still cheaper than a uh, CRF250 or something of that nature, and it'll probably be just as fun. And with the headlight and tail light, unlike your big moto bikes, you at least ride at night. So, 
Uh, looks like all LED, really looks like a fun bike. I really, 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 really hope, this is me begging, to get my hands on one at least for a bit to test drive or something. So uh, with that, let me know down below what you think. Uh, what do you think of the power? What do you think of the zero to 60 in six seconds? That's pretty good. Uh, I mean, cars can go faster than that, but that's pretty good. So I'm excited. I, I just don't know. The price is my, probably my biggest drawback. A lot of you might feel that way too. But when I compare it to other bikes, I don't know. For my type of riding, I'm not a motocross rider. I want a headlight. I want a tail light. I would like to see it street legal. That would be a huge plus for me if I could just, you know, rip around the neighborhood and have turn signals and all that stuff. But I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Hopefully you've enjoyed some of the pictures I've posted up here. It is a fun looking bike. I did hear it in a video and it's kind of, uh, I struggle with electric because you can't hear an exhaust. I like hearing a rumble or just a motor thumping. I like that. So with this one I can hear the chain and kind of like that and you hear the suspension. You can hear the bike functioning that normally gets hidden by a, a pipe or an exhaust running. So that kind of thing. But, Overall, I'm excited. Hopefully you are too. If nothing else, it gave you something to look at for a few minutes. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And soon, I think you're going to see an update on this because people keep asking, does your Coleman run? Have you put a Predator on it? Everybody wants Predators, but if this thing's still running, why put a Predator on it? So with that, we will see you soon. Hopefully on this with a GTO or even Frosty, which I invited up because it's almost Christmas. You gotta have Frosty here for Christmas, so uh, I've been cruising that a little bit. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.